Hello everybody, my name is Kim and today we're going to be looking at paragraph styles and character styles in Adobe Illustrator. Keep in mind that paragraph styles and character styles also exist in InDesign and if you have a big amount of text, I would suggest to create your designs in InDesign instead of Illustrator. For this video, I will be showing how to use them with social media visuals as that's probably the only thing that I would see this useful for. Maybe there's some other things, but personally I would not use them in Illustrator. I would really just use them in InDesign. So with that said, let's get started. So I've already set up a bit what I'm going to be working on. I've picked out these two visuals from Prefect to get going and I'm just going to change this is right here. So I have my base design right here. So I have a title, a subtitle, a website and a body. And all of these are already set up in a certain font certain color, certain size, like all this is already preset with the template that I got. I'll put it down in the link uh, in my description for those who want to try it out with this one. But basically, um, we're going to apply these styles to this other visual right here that's 180 by 180. So first off, what is a paragraph style? Well, a paragraph style is something that looks at your text box altogether and saves all those settings into one button so that you can replicate the exact same thing in multiple visuals. Character style on the other hand is more so about details about your text. So I've applied, let's say here, I've applied the cap locks. I want it always to be in caps. So first off, we're going to start with a paragraph style. So if you do not have these windows open, you're going to go in window at the top, scroll all the way down to type and make sure character styles and paragraph styles are checked. Then you should see these two windows appear. So to get started, I'm going to make my paragraph styles. So I'm going to click on this little square with a plus inside. It's written create new style. And I'm going to rename this title. So to give you an example of what it actually saves. You can double click on it and a box is going to open up and you can see all the style settings here. So it says the font, it's regular, size, letting, all caps, horizontal scale, all of this is in there. If you had an indent, it would save it there too. So now I'm just going to press OK. Organic treatment. I'm going to do the same thing. Go to my paragraph styles, click on a little square, rename it. I'm going to call it subtitle. And it's going to be saved as a subtitle. Then I have my website, which is in white on black. I'm going to create another style, rename it. I'm going to call it website. And there you have it. You can always do the same thing with the body. So we're going to create a new one, rename it, call it body. So now let's say that we want to apply all of this to this visual here. So we're going to click on this. We're going to click on this and we're going to press title. And automatically this text box is now a title. 
and change to this. Organic treatment. I want it to be like the subtitle. It's changed. Website. I want it to change the website. It's changed. It's really that simple. Now you can always do character styles. Character styles are a little bit uh, different. So a character style is how can I explain? The character style only goes for like if you have in a paragraph style. So let's see. If you have in a paragraph style something that is red, right? There's always going to be this one word that's red. I'm gonna change it here. That's where your character styles come into play. So we're going to create character style and then we're going to go red words. Oh, I'm making typos. Sorry. So red words. So if I want to apply it somewhere else, I just click red words. So that's applied to that text. It's really just a specific thing that's applied to a group of characters and character styles. So paragraph styles can be changed manually when you go into their settings. If you double click on them, you can change everything here. And what's fun about this is that everything that you've given this style will change together. So let's say I want it to be 14. You saw how these two down here change sides, sizes. That's what it does. So let's say that in your document, you have multiple titles that are the same size and it's the same paragraph style. Well, you can change them all at once. You don't have to go individually to change them all. And the same thing for character styles. It's really important to use paragraph styles and character styles when you're doing certain types of visuals. Um, like I said, if you have too much text, I would not use this, but if you are doing social media and if you do have multiple people working on these files and you have a brand guide that's very strict, this is one of the ways to go about it in Illustrator. It works about the same in InDesign, but it's a little bit more detailed than it is in Illustrator. So I hope this was useful. If you like this video, please leave me a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. It helps a lot. And that's it. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.